Now to a story a lot of people in Baltimore are talking about tonight. Take a look. Thousands upon thousands of dead fish floated to the surface in the inner harbor. Certainly a disturbing sight with a stench to match. But tonight we are learning what was behind that fish kill. WJZ live at 11 o'clock. Christina Mendez live at the inner harbor. And Christina, you have everyone's attention. What have you learned tonight? Hey, Rick, well, experts are saying that these fish were oxygen starved and the fluctuation between the weather earlier this week caused a significant role in what happened. Absolutely over a million fish. A staggering fish kill surfaces at the Inner Harbor. Uh, I've been working at the aquarium for 37 years. This is the worst fish kill in the Inner Harbor that I've witnessed. Jack Cover, a general curator at the National Aquarium, says the extreme heat during the day, coupled with cool temperature dips in the evenings this week, caused a phenomenon known as thermal inversion. The top layer of the brackish water gets dense. It drops to the bottom like a ceiling falling down and it stirs up all the inorganic material. Cover says the bacteria takes oxygen out of the water and in this case, young Menhaden by the thousands died who have a lower tolerance for bad water conditions. This is a primary food for our striped bass, um, ospreys, cormorants down the inner harbor. So this is really a tragedy. The fish kill was hard to miss for Inner Harbor visitors and not just by sight. When I walked down from Federal Hill, I could smell it. I've never seen a kill of this, this large. Not all was lost, though. According to Cover, the aquarium's new floating wetland exhibit acted as a refuge for some fish through aerators. A signal Cover says that more could be done to ease environmental pressures. Very happy to see the fish in that shallow channel, including some of these medaden that swam up into it, lived through this event. City DPW workers, as well as separately, the aquarium staff did their best to clean up the fish out here, but any that remain, I'm told, will eventually decompose and sink to the bottom. I'm reporting live from the aquarium tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.